okay so let me show you right now the simulation of how this one looks like before we move on to the example video okay so you can see here this is the standard circuit that i've drawn of course you can go to the link and then you can click and play and adjust all of these wires all these blue ones can be adjusted one all right so this is my load the drawing is slightly different but no harm done notice that this two is not an intersection not a junction but a flyover so you see certain cycles let's say here the current okay, let me run again the current will only flow through either these two diodes or these two diodes and regardless of which direction the current flow through this load you will have the direction of current flowing in the same direction it's just that it flows very fast very fast stop flow very fast very fast stop flow very fast very fast stop so it kind of like creates this uh environment where it flows very fast stop flow very fast stop so we have successfully flipped the current all right so if you want to stare at this simulation because it's mesmerizing and it's because it's a nicer version of the diagram that we have drawn you can uh, refer to the link below okay or the link on your one note note one note uh, notes lah. all right so yes so at certain cycles the current this one will conduct and then go back this way certain cycles it will conduct and go back the other way all right and what happens when we include by the way this is the input this is the output lah. we they call it filter but actually it's a capacitor okay so you can see the capacitor is here so let me zoom in a bit so look at looking at this capacitor right you will see that this capacitor is doing a pretty good job in smoothing this thing uh. all right the ripples are barely detectable it did go down but it's barely detectable so here's an interesting thing we can actually play with a few uh, variables for example i can actually change the value of my uh at least i think i can change the value of uh, my Ah, capacitance. Let's say I decrease the capacitance to 18. You will see that the ripples are more pronounced. Why? Because the capacitor cannot hold on to, cannot hold on to many charge. 18 is charge. Uh, C is the ratio of Q over V. So if this number is small, it doesn't have a lot of charge. The current will drop faster. Lor. Let's say now, for example, I increase this. To something very big. Wow, let's go, bro. Okay, like at 20. You can see this ripple almost cannot see the ripple. Okay, so the capacitance are when you change the value of this capacitance, you will change the number, the ripples. Okay, and uh, I think for this one to be detectable, I need this one to be quite small. Maybe, I don't know, 10. So you can see this one will drop a lot. So the size of the ripple, maximum to minimum, depends on this. And observe the shape. This part here, the discharging cycle, is a curve. And if you look at this uh, capacitor, right? When the current is flowing, it will charge. When the current stops flowing, it's discharge. So the capacitor is always giving some charge to the load. So the load doesn't drop that much. Good guy capacitor be like a capacitor help your friend when your friend's potential drop store some energy share with people all right you might be thinking miss what about this load ah? okay let me adjust some stuff first maybe well okay lah, this drop is a bit severe so i'm going to try to increase this a bit so that it's not as sad maybe 18 okay so this is better or slightly better 22 lah. all right so once I've increased this to something that I'm comfortable with, which is generally what we want, uh, let's think about the load. If I increase the load, the charge will flow slower. So if the charge flows slower, let's say I increase it to 1K or even nicer, 1.8K, the charge will flow slower and then there will be less ripple. Okay, there will be less ripple. All right, so this one is the current. All right, so you can check the shape of the graph. There's less ripple. If you're wondering what this yellow one is, I'm guessing it's the RMS. Though, which is it the RMS? No, it's not. I'm not quite sure what the yellow one is since they never label. One is voltage, one is current. 
well, it does not really matter. We are looking for the shape. So if let's say this one, uh, you increase this load to higher and higher, the shape will be flatter and flatter. But if you decrease this, okay, just now, okay, let us decrease to something really small. Like... I don't know, 10. So you can see the smoothing effect is not helping already. Before you reach the next peak, oh, the capacitor run out of charge now because the current can flow faster through this load. So if I increase the resistance, you can see you will finally get a more stable current supply. Now we get the shape that we want there. Ah, finally. See this? Okay. Because now this is a larger load, the current will flow slower. So this one you should be able to visualize. If we have a capacitor, what it does is that it, it's like reinforcement. When current is not flowing, it will send current into the load temporarily. But this one will still drop. It can drop slower by storing more charge. It can store more charge by increasing the capacitance, number one. Number two, if this load is bigger, charge will flow slower, means the drop will be slower. There's a past year question that's discussing this, or discussing this. I will discuss that past year question later. Okay, so that's it about full wave rectification. Okay, so the video is probably a bit long. Uh, don't forget to check out the past year questions. If you find all these explanations helpful, click like and subscribe. Do support our channel by leaving us a comments. We love to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.